Hi guys, Rune here and welcome to the workshop. Today we have a classic time trial build on the schedule featuring a track speed concept frame which is not the newest of designs but still uh, among the fastest frames available out there. And it's also the frame that I have been using for a couple of years of my racing career very successfully. So it's something that I rate really, really highly. Also, I worked on this frame uh, and on these bikes quite a lot. So I'm familiar with all the little parts and integrated bits. So it should be quite straightforward. Uh, the build kit, what we have also uh, in classic time traveling fashion it is going to be a one by group set, uh, mechanical in this case, featuring Altegra uh, and Durace components. The power meter and crank uh, is going to be a Quark V0 with a pyramid cycle design 58 tooth single chain ring. And then of course uh, it's a slew of classic uh, track speed concept integrated parts uh, complete with the mono extensions which uh, are not the most modern design but if you look at stock uh, aero bar setups of time trial bikes it's uh, certainly one of the best. Uh, then one thing we're going to change immediately is the stem. So this is the low far stem uh, that will replace uh, the medium stack stem that's here. It's quite tall, uh, mostly used for triathlon or less aggressive positions. Uh, then we have uh, some Kogel ceramic parts, uh, the bottom bracket and later on the pulley wheels for the rear mech. Uh, to help a little bit with efficiency uh, obligatory elite aero water bottle then we have the watch shop plug uh, since it's a one by system so only one of the extension poles will be occupied by the shifter yeah durace brake levers durace pedals and then yeah the brake uh, and other stuff from, from the drag speed concept frame set. So yeah, really good time traveling setup we're going to have here. Uh, temporarily we'll have the new Campagnolo uh, WTO wheel set in there. Later on we'll follow uh, an aero coach time traveling setup. This one is basically an all around wheel set. Not my favorite brand, uh, but I have to admit they look really, really good. And yeah, the shaping uh, seems to be on par with the modern trends. The bearings run very smoothly uh, and uh, yeah, nicely machined brake track and they're fully tubeless compatible. Not with these uh, tires bear in mind because these are the Grand Prix TTs, which are tube type only, but they're still an option which uh, I would definitely use uh, in the future. So. This is the setup that we have. Let's get into work and build it up.
Okay, fast forward a couple of hours and we have the speed concept ready and built up. The whole build uh, took me probably the shortest time I, that I ever done for this bike. So let's talk about the PR there under four hours, I think, maybe three and a half. Overall, uh, if you know how this bike works and if you know all the little parts and little screws and where which goes, then uh, it's pretty straightforward, particularly with the one by mechanical build. Uh, because there's no need to route wires through the base bar like with ETAP and DI2. Of course, then you don't have the shifting uh, there. Uh, but yeah, straightforward. <laughs> One thing I've noticed, uh, and it was a big problem uh, ever since uh, this bike was out, is this little cover. And after, well, basically six years on the market, or maybe even seven, they finally made a running change and they addressed this issue. So this cap has now more space. As you can see, there's a slight curvature now to it. So it actually fits the cables. You don't have to break it uh, while trying to put it on its place because it was near impossible. And also you can now pop it off easily uh, without any hassle, without loosening the main stem bolt. So that's uh, very very nice and it should have come around six years ago anyway we have it now at the end of the life cycle of this bike and i have to say if you look at it uh it's really still a beautiful up-to-date looking uh, and very fast bike mind you that uh, this is one, still one of the fastest time trial slash triathlon frame sets available and in this particular build, uh, it's just going to be a very, very fast setup indeed. So, yeah, as I mentioned already, we have the one by the PC, the chaining, aero coach, uh, chain catcher there, 1132 Ultegra cassette, works flawlessly with even the short cage rear mech here. Uh, we have upgraded uh, to the carbon post from the older 9 series. Madon, uh, it's a tiny bit lighter and more importantly it has more compliance so nicer to ride also it's available in this longer 335 mil length which is necessary here as you can see from the height of the rider uh, with a saddle height of almost 85 centimeters it's no joke uh, then I've used some new stuff on, on the handlebar and the base bar setup so here I've used a large diameter shrink wrap just to hold uh, the gear cable in place. Really neat looking, I think. Better than electrical tape for sure. Also quite nice to the touch. And on the base bar, I have used this traction uh, tape, which is normally used on weapons. It has kind of a rubbery feel, very nice, very grippy and it doesn't destroy your gloves and hands uh, like regular grip tape that you put on skateboards yeah just one more look at the super clean front end and yeah breaks it up pretty pretty easy as well you can use uh, that well, all these uh, two mil allen key bolts there so you can make adjustments without removing anything it's a very clever feature of this bike of course, it still has the BB90 uh, standard, so we are tied to the GXP cranks. Uh, but other than that, no real issues with practicality here. Overall, very, very nice setup indeed. And it will be a fast one for sure, particularly when the Aero Coach disc wheel comes for it. Okay, so this has been uh, the track speed concept build. If you want to know more about other bikes that I built, service, or ride myself, then don't forget to tune into the channel later on and subscribe. It's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.